What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Say So, and I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like and subscribe as you always watch the full video, man. This stuff is getting out of hand. This tea has gotten even hotter when it comes to Danny and Corey. This <laughs> video is definitely worth watching. I heard y'all in the comments slow down. I got y'all. So apparently, Corey and Brittany wasn't just talking about cars, and I told y'all in the previous video that's why Danny was really upset because they over here conversating about other things when it's supposed to be about business. Now, before I go on, side note, Corey is now staying at Brittany's house, and he's back in Jennifer Carmen's twin comments. Interesting. He need to find a permanent place to stay, and I don't think it's at Brittany's house. Okay, it might be at Jennifer's. But anyway, let's get back into this. Ain't no, you don't even know this man. Like, ladies, let, what is he doing? Pause, bruh. What is he doing to them? It, like, is he paying them or is he eating the groceries? It can't be the pie because we all got that, bruh. Like, you, well, you, you, you know, you use or you don't. So he got to be eating the groceries. It got to be that. It gotta be that, bro. Because you don't even know this man. This is your now ex friend's ex boyfriend. What? That's crazy. Now, Danny recently exposed that two weeks ago, Corey told Brittany he really wanted to see his kids. So, Brittany told Corey to call CPS on Carmen and lie. And now he has a case out on Carmen. So, Danny ended up reaching out to Floyd, which is Carmen's manager, who Danny used to date, to give him the heads up that this was going on. And she also reached out to Ebony, which is also Carmen's manager and friend. Danny's friends with Ebony as well. And she gave her the heads up as well. So, Brittany is going through a divorce right now. So, Brittany, I guess she was talking about putting her husband in a new paper and then they was going like um honor her divorce in 30 days <gasps> so she was telling Corey how to get the divorce from Carmen, right oh and i mean gave him the number about the car mm. so all of a sudden we in the car um i know friend okay, we missed we were hitting, so he was like man reading just put me on game like the law like the law like reading put you on game today he was like he just she just told him to go put carmen i'm in the news at the album and i'll be out of my divorce in 30 days if she always fun okay so Corey, this <laughs> And she told me how to get That's wild, bro. That's wild. But then but these like these moments are still showing how fake they are too though. Not 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 Carmen's team, but but Danny. Like, yes, she pulled a fake move, so you pull some fake moves. If you can do that, that, that means you're not real. People gotta understand that. If you're friends with somebody, cordial with somebody, whatever, especially if you're really friends with them. You really friends with them and then Hey, you snake them and they snake you back. That's a, you're a snake. Real, us real ones, we can't do that even if we wanted to. Like, like me, like when it comes to being a dog, I can't be a dog because it's not in me. I couldn't do it if I wanted to. Every time I, it, it, even when I so, somewhat try, it's not even really me trying. It just be me like, they say if, if, if I'm conversating, this kind of I ain't say I ain't told neither one of them I want to be in a relationship, but they say if I'm conversating. In that moment, I feel guilty. Like, if I'm talking to one, and then one, another one, just have an ex hit me up, or somebody I used to talk to hit me up, and then we start talking for a day or two, I start feeling guilty, like, dang, am I wrong? Should I be doing this? Should I should I tell, should I cut one off? And I didn't even do nothing. But that's the real me. This shows the fake in me. Um, full custody of my kids. I was like, full custody. Why you want to get full custody? He was like, man, because she let she let her mama keep the kids. I was like, shit, my mama keep my kids. You know, and, and she out working. She gotta make this money. The fuck? She was like, she had told me to call CPS and do a report. Fred, like the law. I know, Fred, like the law. Like the law. So not only is Corey calling CPS and filing fake cases against Carmen, but now Big Boogie is involved because Corey leaked the text message between Big Boogie and Danny. They used to date back in February. I but if it's on my day, all the CPS, they probably not watching. But they, hey, they, at the end of the day, they are regular people. Therefore, and then as soon as you go on YouTube, on Twitter, if you then search they know uh, Carmen or Corey's name up before, they, this stuff is going to pop up. So they're going to see this eventually, and they're going to see that you out here putting false reports on people. Like that's going to make it look. That's going to make it probably bad for you to even attempt to get your kids. 
know the tea is hot <laughs> cause what that's why he felt comfortable reaching out to her when Corey was going off about Carmen mmm we putting the pieces together but anyway Danny texted him and said thinking about you and then he sent her a song cause I guess he was in the studio or whatever February 14th Danny reached out to him and said happy Valentine's Day Big Boogie responded happy Valentine's Day baby then he reached out again and said baby and then Big Boogie said you don't gotta get my chain out I'll wait for that just give me money while I'm in Memphis Danny responded okay how much don't have to be a bank transfer though Big Boogie responded 20 if that's cool so Danny earlier this year was tricking on Big Boogie and not only did she date Big Boogie but she also date DC Young Fly this year as well which those messages was leaked <laughs> stop pause and read but here's that what Big wild. Boogie had to say about them text messages nah ain't no contract relationship stay out of my business focus on y'all love like now play with y'all at play with y'all at don't play with bull leave me alone leave me out of it don't try to get in my love like y'all talking about 20 motherfucking k i asked the yes i asked her for that motherfucking 20k damn right you got 20 thighs say no more <laughs> fuck you talking about you got 20 thighs say no more let me get that that is lucky and finesse though that's like a girl do the same thing <laughs> you gonna pay my bills you gonna pay her you gonna pay her uh her rent her mortgage, her phone bill, that's the same thing. The only thing, the only thing that make it look like, I ain't gonna say bad, but like weird is because y'all was talking, then y'all split and went to two people who were married. Like that, that's the part that makes it look weird. Like, damn, bro. Like, do people just like, mind you, especially like for, well, I don't know. I want to say, especially for, for, for Buggy Spence, they did show uh it was a uh, I guess a screenshot of he when he was already plotting on Carmen he already knew who they was Corey and Car he knew who they was because he po he he reshared uh, I guess a photo of them some of damn shorty tough or she bad whatever he said so therefore in that moment once you and you and her stop talking I mean nah because it's, it's different because I was gonna say. Once you and once you and uh and Danny stop talking and then you start talking to uh Carmen and then Danny start talking to Corey, somebody took like yeah we gotta go. somebody should have called it off. Cause like that looked just as weird as when Chris was talking to Leslie. And that's uh Claire's ex girlfriend. Like that's weird, but like, it's so many people in this world. Why are I going to like? Go find somebody else. There are eight billion plus people on the on this earth. Go find other people. Why are y'all want to associate or talk to or crush somebody who knows somebody who you was just with? Like, that's weird. Let me hold that down, fool. I'll pay you back. You hear me? Fuck you something out. Because if she would have asked for something, I would have. You hear me? If it was the love or if, if it was genuine love, off top, you get on the phone with a motherfucker, you will see if the love genuine. You got 25? Damn right, let me get that, fool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't want me to talk about shit, cuz. I ain't gonna lie to you. Damn right, I ain't for that 20,000. You know what I mean? The 20,000 I done got back. See, that just blew 60,000, 50,000 in three days. Like I said, damn right, I ain't for that 20,000. What's up, bro? You got what? Good. What, you, what you mean? I was gonna give it. Yeah, I was gonna give it back regardless. But like I said, Danny cool. Yeah, I, I don't got nothing against y'all. I don't know her. Never seen the day in my life. And I'm gonna continue to talk my shit. Cause get Ain't nobody gonna bring my jaw down. Y'all bullshit. He said I ain't seen her a day in my life, and she gave you twenty bands, or she, or she, or um, he just asked for it. And she didn't really give it, but she gave him twenty bands and never met this man like in person. Y'all tripping. Or she tripping. What? Ain't no way in hell I'm giving somebody. I don't get her. I don't get her if I'm a millionaire. And I ain't we, we ain't linked up in person. You told them give you 20 back. Hell no. <laughs> Who are you? See, I'm, 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 I'm a different breed. <laughs> the day I make it, I'm not going to be like these other rich dudes that, hey. No. I am just ain't moving like that, no. Mama Ray, be better than that. I'm that nigga. Yeah, I'm playing. Hey, I'm like that. I take care of whoever, baby. I'm a black sheep. 
Yeah, man, if you want to go there, we can talk shit, baby. I can add you to the live. You hear me? I'm going to pop it with you, baby. I ain't going to cuss you out. I'm a genuine nigga, baby. I ain't going to do that. I'm going to let you pop your shit, baby. If we want to go viral, let's go. Yeah, I, I feel like, like y'all don't, you know. Y'all know I'm a real nigga, though. Y'all just be trying to troll. Y'all be trying to turn up on your junk. It's cool. And, and plus, everything that he's currently been trying to, you know, they're trying to expose him for, it's all old. It's all old. It's not, again, like, not saying do it, but if you're going to do something, do something that's current. Post something that's, that's like, all right, him and Car, I mean, him and Car, <laughs> my bad. Him and Carmen is talking in October. And in October, on October 15th, he said the girl this. Do that if y'all gonna do something. That's supposed to stuff or trying to expose stuff that happened before him and um Carmen start talking. Is she relevant? That's why he can talk like and say, y'all, y'all not stopping nothing. Because y'all it's not. That's again, this is like when you first start talking to somebody, it's always gonna be somebody, oh, I just talk to me. They, oh, they try to talk to me. So what? So what? Move on. Ooh. For certain situations, y'all know I don't play like that. Come on, man. Stop playing. Come on, man. Like I said, man, I'm going to boss my bitch up before I ask her for something. That was a favor. That one, that one, buy my jewelry. Get my chain out. Give, give, uh, hey, baby, I want you to do this for me. Nah, let me, let me, let me get that while I'm in Memphis. I get it back, baby. I ain't tripping. Nah, she ain't spend that bread on me, y'all. She ain't give me the 12 hours. <laughs> They talking about Danny, man. Danny, the girl. Dude was on the interview. No, no, fuck her, no. You going down? Yeah, you going down. You going down? Yeah, fuck her. No, Danny, the girl. What that what no what? We don't know her, boy. Danny, the girl that's on Facebook. They saying because I, 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 we was gonna say. We were texting the night for two hundred thousand, and I said, "Let me hold it while I'm in Memphis." You like me? You like me? Give me two hundred thousand. Give me two hundred thousand. You texting me? You like me? You like me? You like me, man? Do me a favor. Do me a favor. I'm gonna pay it back. I ain't need. It. I told her not to get my chain out. Give me two hundred thousand. You feel me? She at home. <laughs> you like to give me twins? Sherelle, the person that has been in the middle of all of this because she doesn't like Danny, and she was the one that leaked the text messages between Big Boogie and Danny because now Sherelle and Corey are cool, and he sent her the text messages for her to post on her platform. Well, she responded to Big Boogie. Here's what she had to say. Hey, Big Boogie, let me tell you something real quick. I'm right here watching your live. Oh, that was dope how they did that. Listen, this shit wasn't about you. This shit was about the bitch that you was fucking with that you thought was genuine about you. I see a lot of you motherfuckers in the comment section talking about, oh my God, this just Sherell being messy. It's just Sherell being messy. Boo, don't pay her no mind. Y'all so damn dysfunctional, it don't even make no fucking sense. That shit was not for me to say, oh, Boogie ain't got no money, da 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 da. No, that shit was, you trusted a and asked her for whatever it is that y'all got going on. And that bitch turned around and told her friend, look, Boogie asking me for money. Niggas coming to me for money. Da 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 da. Like she's some big top notch bitch. And she got to take care of all you motherfuckers that come her way. That's what that was. Yeah, but if it show wasn't that, this, again, again, just as well as girls be doing it, there are dudes that be doing it. Let me get some money. <laughs> you, you heard how confident his homie was. If you like me, give me 20. That was pure confidence. He had said that before, multiple times. Even me. I ain't asked for that much. Because I know for sure I ain't got that much, and I know for sure the girl I'm talking to ain't got that much. <laughs> I ain't even tried that. But I have asked the girl to get my jewelry at the pawn shop before. I have done that before. I am not going to lie to you. No, she was not my girlfriend. And yes, she got the jewelry out multiple times, to be to be exact. I was down, down. I was down, down. I, <laughs> I'm down right now, but I was down, down then, boy. I was down bad. And you can pop your shit to you know it's big dude shit. I almost sent you a text and was like, "Hey, girl, can you get forty for me? Get forty for me if it's love in the field. She gonna run it again. You hear me? But hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Let me get back over here and, and watch this. Let's see. No, fuck all this. I don't got money problems. He don't got money problems, but then he do. Hey, bug. 
Go pay that Rolls Royce. Ro what the fuck is that car called? Go pay off that. <laughs> Help out, friend. She need that Rolls Royce paid off. <laughs> Sherelle also leaked the conversation between her and Corey talking about Danny. Listen. Plotting. If you're if you're sitting there singing and recording people's conversation, you're plotting. You're plotting, bro. You're plotting for them to do something to you so you can do something back. That's plotting, bro. Plain as day. You was waiting for this moment to happen. That's for sure. She's really a scammer. She's really a scammer. Oh, trust me, I've been knowing that since last year. targeting you although you know i'm a content creator so i'm gonna say some shit but my whole thing about all of this is i'm gonna stand for the people so when you like i could definitely tell like you in tune with god and all of that because I, I was seeing like your motivational posts and shit like that it's so when i said oh glory gonna find out soon now. like you know god gonna reveal that shit stop using that line you're in tune with god if he was in tune with god he wouldn't be doing petty and messy stuff god don't like ugly right so he's doing ugly things. Stop using that line. The people who really believe. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like I'm just targeting. What? I can God. say that because he throw God in it every time, but you don't talk to him before and he tell you to stop. You know how many like, times the Lord probably told you to stop doing some shit and you don't went and did it? You're not going to admit that though, right? That means you're not in tune. If you're in tune, you're going to stop. If he tell you to stop, hey, there's a lot of things he tell me to stop about and I, I stop. Especially when I, when I, <laughs> I can do it. I can, I can admit this, bro. I can admit this. Back then, boy, back then, I was down bad, 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 bad. Bad, 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 bad. I would have got you. I would have got you. Yes, you. You've been walking down the street. You would have had a nice chain on. I would have got you. For real, for real. And if you would have tried anything, I would have fought. <laughs> I would have fired that chin up so bad, boy. That's how down bad I was. But he told me it's time to stop it because somebody else is going to either fire your chin up or they're going to fire something else up. So therefore, I had to stop. For real, for real. Come on, bro. Let's just be. Yeah, I'm fair across the board. I talk about people when I have receipts. We're going to talk about this because I have this. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to jump into nobody's life about. We Danny, I just want to be the first person to let you know that you're going to jail. You posted this man's banking information and people was paying all types of shit on here. So far, his account is negative almost $11,000. I just really want to know, as a millionaire, where did you think you was going with this? Did you really think you were going to get far posting this man's social, his bank account information, phone numbers, addresses, all of that shit? Like you really said, he released my shit. He docks me, so I'm going to dox him times 10. But because I'm a millionaire and I think I'm smart, I'm going to get away with this. Then people in the comment section and shares talking about how they done bought cell phones. They done order shit with this nigga name. And that shit could have been made up and make believe or whatever the case is. But the subject of the matter. Nah, some of them probably real. It's some real, real hackers out here. That's why I'm saying like, like, even though it's a little bit off subject, but when it comes to these, uh, to, uh, Eli Musk and these robots, bro, people are going to be hacking them things, getting them to do all type of things, bro. Watch this. Watch again. This is not no peaceful world, bro. It's not no peaceful world. So, but I'm, I'm quite sure there's some people that do, that do boss things with, with, uh, Corey's, uh, bank account. I'm quite sure. That's why I said, like, my on my video, like that's illegal for you to do that. If he dox, if he docks you, and then you dox him back, y'all both finna go to jail. Y'all both finna get some type of fine or fee, whatever. But y'all are both finna pay the consequences of that because that's illegal to do that, especially when this happened. If it, if it truly happened, if it truly was, he had some money in there. You posted this thing, and somebody from your uh your comment section, whatever used it 
that's your fault. You're gonna have to pay that whatever money that they use, you're gonna have to pay that back plus more because court fees, lawyer fees, all that other stuff. And he can he can add on stress, emotional uh, distress, all type of things. You're done. Is where the fuck did you think you was gonna go with this? But when you get on here and all this shit start to pour over into real life, this nigga credit being messed with, all of this like come Hey, ain't that ain't that Carmen and Corey though? C and C. That's Carmen and Corey. I hope, I hope, man, ladies, if you ever start a YouTube channel with somebody, make sure you got full access to it. I'm talking to the AdSense account. If not, you ain't, you don't know what, how much money. I mean, you can see how much money being made, but you don't see it. Shit. You feel me? You need to see. Come on, bro. Then you you be out here calling calling me everything but the child of fucking God if I decide to go ahead and post your social, post your kids' socials and shit. I got all that shit. Could have been. No, I couldn't have because you ain't got shit in your fucking bank accounts. Let's just keep it a bean. Let's just keep it a book. All your bank accounts closed. That's wild, though, bro. That's why you got to watch who you're talking to. And, for, again, like I said, uh, when Corey and Carmen first broke up, anybody dealing with Corey right now, why he ain't, he hasn't, look, you got to think about it. He hasn't admitted the things that he has done to himself. That's why he can come on the internet and boldly and confidently say, like, or talk like he had like he's an angel because he hasn't invented his wrong to himself. So therefore, if you're dealing with him right now, you're going to go through drama. You see, this is the second relationship within a year, and neither one of them have worked. 